Hey, Chad the intern for Paragon Comics here. You know, last week we had the uh, the Comic Con in Albany and I bought up a whole bunch of uh, local independent comics and I said I was going to review them, so this is that video. Um, I like all these comics. They're definitely a lot different than what you usually see. Uh, great stylized work. They look really professional. And uh, I just wanted to quickly show you a bunch of them. This is the uh, Hybrid Bastards by Tom Pinchuk and Kate Glasheen. I met her, she was pretty nice. I like her uh, her artwork here. It's a uh, very uh, kind of abstract, kind of cartoony. She uses a, a watercolors instead of computer coloring or, or anything like that. So um, this book is about, it's kind of hard to, it's, a, it's, a, it's supposed to be like kind of a comedy, I guess, about Zeus, uh, uh, his wife uh, Hera puts him under a spell where he goes around uh, uh, impregnating in, in, inanimate objects, and then they all come to life. And you know, it's the Zeus and his goons are trying to hunt him down, and they're trying to I don't know collect child support, basically. So it's a it's a funny kind of adult kind of situation, um, and and it's hard to judge it because this is only the first of three. I like to see the other two books. Um, moving on, this is uh, two books by uh, Enigma Works. Um, the artist Luke Myersh, I think that's I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, he was there uh, drawing and signing comics. Uh, these are both uh, really really stylized books. I, like it has, I really love this black and white here. Um, kind of reminds me of. Frank Miller meets Jeff Smith meets, uh, uh, who's the guy that does The Walking Dead? Charlie Adler. Charlie Adler. Uh, I just, I love the black and white here. It's, you know, it's it's a nice stark, uh, contrast. This, uh, this book, Tall Tales of Nonfiction, is, is just a spoof of, uh, Ex Machina. Uh, and it's, it's about, you know, a guy in Ben Franklin, uh, they harness the power of electricity, and it, 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 it like it's hard to it's hard to really judge it because it's just basically just kind of like a teaser issue. This other one, Papillion Black, is more of like a uh, an actual story comic. I can tell it has uh, you know more issues to go. It's kind of again it's kind of like a Frank Miller kind of Sin City kind of thing going on about mixing. It's like a crime with a. Uh, uh, magic and stuff like that. It's like Sin City meets uh, something by Grant Morrison or, or something like that. So uh, I, I like these books. They're pretty cool. And again, they're, it's it's really hard to, to truly judge them since these are just you know individual issues and I like to see the rest and see where it goes. Uh, so check them out. Um, next up we got uh, Headlocked. This is a, a pretty cool uh, wrestling-inspired uh, comic. Um, it's 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 kind of like a drama and, and a comedy about a boy. Well, not a not a boy. It's like a college kid who starts out as an artist and a writer, and he wants to be an actor. And uh, he goes to one wrestling show, and he says, "That's it. I want to be a wrestler." And uh, it's a very breezy kind of slice of life you know, story, no tights and fights, it's, unless you count the wrestlers. Uh, so it's just his, this kid's journey to, to see how, how it would be to be a, a, a professional wrestler. And, you know, it's kind of like a behind the scenes kind of thing. And there's some comedy and, you know, it's pretty, it's a really breezy story. And again, I'd like to, I'd like to read more of this to see where it goes. And, uh, Based on the life story of the artist. Was it? He's actually he was actually a professional wrestler. Yeah, he was there uh, signing uh, comics and selling them. So that that was a that's pretty cool. Uh, you can check them out at Visionary Comics. Um, next we got this thing. This is Knit Princess. It's a uh, a free online uh, you know comic strip. It's like once or twice a week at uh, knitprincess.com. It's a you know it's a it's a comedy about a girl in her 20s or so who loves to knit and she has a roommate and she doesn't have a job and you know like uh, 
she, there's this little promo thing here. It says, Knitter is single, adventures in men complex, hilarity ensues. You know, it's a, it's a cute little comic thing, and it, I don't know if this is aimed specifically at girls. I mean, it's just kind of like a, like, you know, Luann or Cassie or something like that. It's, I like the artwork. It's uh, very Japanese-inspired. Uh, uh, you know, very you know very professional cartoon look going on here. So check them out for free at knitprincess.com. I thought it was pretty cute. Um, and then last but not least, we have the Awakening. This is a a really interesting kind of horror kind of you know sci-fi mind bender kind of thing um, by uh, Nick Tapolansky and Alex Ekman Law. Uh, as soon as I open this up, it just reminds me of any kind of Vertigo comic, like especially a Dave McKeon kind of thing. Like they mix painting with drawing with photography, and uh, it, it's a very, very super stylized comic, very abstract and surreal. But the story is, uh, you know, it's it it, it it reads very professionally, kind of like I said, like a Vertigo comic. It's a you know, it's about, you know, uh, a pharmaceutical company in a small town, and then they, they all of a sudden they just abandoned their factory, and now it looks like zombies are turning up, so it's like a detective war slash, uh, you know, horror kind of thing. Kind of like 30 Days of Night, I guess. Um, and a lot of these, a lot of these comics are published by, uh, Arcadia Studios Press. You can check them out at, uh, askcomics.com. So, uh, you know, I liked I liked all these comics, um, and you know they were all, you know, pretty cheap at the show. So hopefully they'll be at the next show in November. I'll pick up some more. Um, like I said, just it, 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 at the very least, all these comics are very very original. You're not going to see this stuff in there. You're not, and the artwork doesn't look anything like that either. So. You know, say what you want, but you cannot accuse these artists and writers of being unoriginal. It's definitely original. So, uh, I, I like them all, and I'd like to see more of them. Um, it's just so hard to find indie comics, and especially local comics. So, uh, thanks to all the artists and writers at the show for uh, for uh, coming out, and hopefully we'll see you all in November. And uh, check all these comics and their uh, publishers out. Alright, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel.